Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm Scott Bernstein. We're going to go out to New York City for some, you know, breaking news, a little bit of breaking news um, related to the Gambinos, related to the overall New York underworld and really the transnational underworld. Uh, so uh, Mike the Serb, the Gambino affiliate, uh, Maletta Malanchik, uh, has been released to a halfway house after three years in prison. Maybe the most powerful mob associate in New York City right now. Um, a guy whose reach <laughs> goes well beyond the Big Apple. Uh, it's around the globe. And uh, it's interesting to see where this guy kind of came from. And we'll get to that in a second. But uh, got into a, half a halfway house recently. Um, went away in 2021 for fraud, tax evasion. And, um, you know, just some kind of basic minor racketeering stuff. And uh, he, there was a gun possession charge, I believe, related to the raid that they came and arrested him with. Uh, and he heads a group called Group of uh, Group America, and it's a Eastern European crime network mixed with a political uh, influence outfit, power brokerage, drug logistics, uh, gambling, loan sharking, muscle for, uh, muscle for hire. It's very diversified and it has outposts um, around the world, uh, mainly kind of ran between New York City, uh, uh, the former Yugoslavia, and uh, parts of uh, Italy. So this guy is a, a major, major player. And I was told that uh, within Group of uh, Group America, which is the name of the uh, organization that he leads, there were some internal uh, squabbles uh, in the business relationship between Group of Amer uh, Group America and the Gambinos, and. Mike the Serb is tied to the highest levels of the Gambino crime family, uh, Lorenzo Menino, uh, Frankie Camuso, and um, Bo Filippelli. But Lorenzo is the day-to-day the -day shot caller of the Gambinos uh, uh, from the Sicilian faction of that crew. And he actually takes his paycheck from Mike the Serb's, uh, one of his construction companies. And the FBI believes that uh, Mike the Serb and Frankie Camuso kind of run point for Menino and the Gambinos and other uh, groups within the five families uh, for their construction uh, rackets in, in, in uh, Manhattan. But just to give a little bit of backstory before we check out, and um, uh, let's also just say that even though I've heard there are some issues that were uh, behind the scenes that were going on when, when Mike the Serb was, was locked up, um, I heard there was a, a construction contract that got kind of messed up, uh, some joint gambling ventures where some money ended up missing and that when uh, Michael Serb hit the halfway house, he was kind of like met with these troubleshooting agenda. Uh, my sources say it, 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 there's, there's, there's no problems. There aren't going to be any issues between the Gambinos and group of America. I keep on saying group of America, group America. Um, and that they expect Mike, the Serb is going to get everything tightened up in short order. Um, but I, I think there might be some misconceptions here. Um, and I, I don't want to demean anybody's power level, but it, it looks like the the, the media, um, some people that write about this stuff, including me in the past, uh, have been kind of really undervaluing where Mike the Serb stands in the global crime food chain or the pecking order. Um, and looking at Group America as a subunit of the Gambinos, when it might be the Gambinos as a, a subunit of Group America. I didn't start like that. I'm not being literal when I say that. Um, but so just to give a quick backstory, this all ties back to the Westies, John Gotti, stuff that was going on in the 80s. Um, Mike the Serb was a protege and bodyguard for the final leader of the Westies, the Irish Mob in Hell's Kitchen, a group that was 
very close to the, the Gambino, specifically Gotti, Jimmy Coonan, the boss of the Westies, uh, had a, a top enforcer, a, a driver bodyguard by the name of uh, Bosco Rodonovic. They called him the Yugo. He eventually succeeded Jimmy Coonan. Uh, you had a <laughs> Eastern European that was ahead of the Irish mob as you know, assigned by John Gotti and those guys. And uh, Mike the Serb was by Bosco's side that entire time throughout the 80s. So if Bosco was Jimmy Coonan's right man, right hand man, Mike the Serb was Bosco's right hand man. Um, so very close to Gotti, made a lot of connections in the five families. Then the fall of the uh, Soviet Union, USSR, Iron Curtain, all falls apart late December uh, 1991. Uh, just a year before that, Gotti had gotten locked up and the Westies are kind of dissolved or what the original Westies were, were dissolved. And you had Bosco and Mike the Serb go back to their homeland in the Balkans and set up shop there. That's where Group of America is born. I keep on saying Group of America. I'm sorry. Group America is born. And first, there's a, a leader that wasn't Mike the Serb. That leader ends up getting killed. 1997, 98, Mike the Serb takes over and the entire operation just scales up, metamorphosizes, evolves. And th this is a group that controls almost 100% of the logistics in the global cocaine market, uh, connecting North America, South America, and Europe. Um, and then they hold a lot of sway in uh, government circles, political circles, uh, intelligence circles. So very shadowy, very powerful. And it all kind of started in Hell's Kitchen with the Westies. It's just, it's crazy to think that. But uh, Mike, the Serb, 64 years old, uh, is a free man now. He'll be out of the halfway house in September. And uh, it will be interesting to see how this all plays. L uh, Lorenzo Menino, is, we all know, is, is the target of a, a big federal labor corruption case. Frankie Camuso, another buddy of Mike the Serbs, is under indictment right now. But only time will tell. But Mike the Serb, back in the mix, fixing problems within group America and some issues that had uh, popped up when he was away with the Gambinos. Now he's back. Everything's copacetic. Welcome back, Mike the Serb, Scott Bernstein, OG Pod, out. Mm -hmm.